Hey, is this your first time on the car? I've been on it before. You on before? Yeah. Got any questions about it? Or, you know, when it was built? Uh, like, like what year? Huh? What year was it built? 1896. Oh. So that makes it what, 128 years old. Mm -hmm. So this type of car ran probably in about till 19, early 1900s. I'm going to say about 1920 at the latest. And it's been restored to uh, the way it looked essentially. It's a long restoration process. You see the uh, light in the middle? Which one? This one? Yeah. yeah. That, that was a gas lamp <coughs> augmented by um, electric bulbs. Because when this car was built, electricity was still in its infancy in terms of being uh, used commercially. So they had a gas lamp just in case uh, the electricity failed in some form or fashion. So that's why that's there. Um, you see the uh, colored glass up here. The, well, no, it's plexi. It used to be glass. This that, brown is colored yeah, glass, right? Yellow. Yeah, I see. Uh, different car, different car um, routes had different colored glass. And that was because uh, the turn of the century, the turn of the last century, a lot of immigrants were in Baltimore, as in most major cities, especially on the East Coast. And a lot of them couldn't yet read uh, or uh, speak English, or uh, maybe speak English somewhat, but maybe not read it so well. So if they didn't, couldn't read the destination sign, they would know from the color of the glass at night when the car was lit up what uh, route they wanted. So they would look for a car with yellow glass, or green, or or red maybe or blue and that helped them in their early days in this country. Uh, you see the fare register here that we were fortunate to find one that is um, that is correct for this car and uh, it's in uh, we uh, re uh, restored it and it's in place so this car is as I said essentially what it looked like um, uh, way back when and that is, uh, that is really something. So, uh, any questions you have before we go back in about the, this car the museum or anything else? That's it. Think so? Okay. Well, we'll show you one thing while well, you've seen this before. Since this was a double-ended car, it could be run from either end. And these cars would usually you know, just stop at a, they'd run on a track, a stub track with no loops. So. What the motorman would do and the conductor at the end of the line when nobody was on the car was put the seats over. They call it trimming the car and change everything around. So that's what we'll do here. Uh, our conductor's already replaced the trolley pole. Thank you. Yep. Well, now you are sitting <laughs> in the uh, correct direction. Yep. Mm -hmm.
I know it's an old bridge, I think. You can't see it. It's like an old bridge. Trust me, right here. Was that part of the, like the, the line and stuff? Uh, 